Alright, so what is going on? My name is Ace, welcome back. Here's another special video on Ark Knights. So here today we are for some quality update news. Most of these already have been dropped and we might see some of the future. But I didn't really have a video idea so I decided to go over these. So I also got a complaint some days ago about my content being boring. I'm not gonna read over these because that's the complaint was about, I just read over stuff. I'm just gonna say in total what we're going to get and show them into the game and how they're gonna function. Since that's what some of you want. Okay, let's go on. So we're getting this new function on the base, which is about, uh, you know the, f uh, the, shit, what's the name of the post, the trading post? Yeah, how tiring and boring is this? Just claim all the orders? Well, no, you don't need to just sit over there. You can just, there's new functions like the collecting of factories. Or would you, we're just like, uncollectable and just collect everything. It's going to be the same for orders. So you don't have to just sit there and wait and do that over and over again. Like 9 to 10 orders or 11 orders. Just that. You just need to like, uh, not worry about that anymore. It will just automatically collect your, um, orders of course when you like the same way you collect your like what's the name again yeah collectibles like this option over here and uh, it will also have for orders acquired so it will just automatically collect all of these so yeah um pretty decent quality update it's not like these updates won't be anything crazy no new game modes because series you are just ended like today and we're gonna get a new event, which is cooler. I just went over the event, we're gonna have the link in the description probably. But these are more quality updates, they're coming a little bit sooner. I'm pretty sure these were supposed to be com coming on the first year of anniversary. The first year anniversary, so yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure they did want, like this was on first year anniversary, but they dropped it now, which is good, which shows that some stuff will be coming sooner than others. Hopefully we get those other quality updates, you could say, like balance changes, we could get those a little bit sooner. That would be great. I'm pretty sure CN has only had one balance change up till now, but it's been okay. It's changed some stuff and it's fixed some stuff. Next, new func uh, function will be info, which will become art archives with new feature. We'll have a fashion gallery, which is a pretty cool, uh, you could say, um, quality update because it just allows us to look at every skin that's been on the game uh, throughout all the time and which skins we have acquired and which not. It's pretty cool because you can see all the skins we will miss and stuff. I started playing during the Color Coast event so I've missed most of these skins over here and probably skins up to like yeah I, I played on Coral Coast and I dropped and I came back so yeah. Um, anyways, you'd just be able to see all the skins that have dropped. Of course, we'll be going all in-game, which I'll probably be showing how you can check these uh, stuff, how they will work. Of course, uh, here's the announcer for the event. Here's like the CC0 map. Next, these. Um, this is about the side stories and you seeing them, side stories that you've been through. And if you've probably completed or you can just look at the start of the side quest. Hopefully it's the second part because you can look over them. But like, most of these stories aren't that great I'd say. They're okay. I like the granny one. Granny one's fine. I really, the Heart of Surging Flame is my favorite. Because it's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty good story. And then Cold of Brawl which is also pretty good. And these weren't that good. The other ones, the other one was pretty good actually. It was pretty nice, but just that ending wasn't the one I expected. It was just like, I'm not gonna spoil it too much because some people actually enjoyed the story of the game, but it was decent, you could say. But um, of course, these will be uh, accessible with the like the tokens over here, especially in case you can use items, information fragments. Yes, you will farm information fragments throughout the new event. Uh, you will get in total like 50 or more. I don't remember. I made a video about them on the event stuff, which will also be like it'll have the link in the description. You should go check it out. And I made a video about them showing uh, and saying they will be infinitely grindable. You can just grind them in infinite amount throughout the event. You won't have a limit. 
but they will only be grindable from this event right now. Just right now. They might come back on the future, on the next event. They might be in, on every event. I'm not sure. But I just know they're going to be on this event. They're going to be infinitely grindable. So when you're grinding up material and stuff, like the gels or stuff, you know, those uh, grind, you'll also get these tokens or information fragments. And uh, at the meantime, we're getting those. So, yeah. And then the last function, which I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Yep, then we, we go more into like these new units. Of course, I'm expecting the banner to drop next week. Yes, it was 100% drop next week, but I'm thinking beginning of next week. Because they already showed the 4 star today, Podenko, or however you pronounce her name. They'll probably show the 5 star tomorrow, which will be Leonhardt, and tomorrow is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. It will drop on Monday. I'm thinking it's dropping on Monday. Not sure though. It won't be bad. It will also drop Rosa. I used to call her Polka because I thought that was her name, but it's actually Rosa. Yeah, that's how you actually call her. Anyways, um, let's get back to here. Path to Glory. This will be mostly quality update for like achievements, you could say, and it gives you medals and stuff. They're not anything that you can use for like making your account better. It's nothing related to that, it's just achievement tab. Like, if you see over here, um, 100 days of decis uh, decisiveness. Decisiveness, yes. Um, a true medal you should com uh, commemorate the 100 days since you started playing the game. It's achievements. And I'm pretty sure that these don't give rewards. We'll just give you the medal and you can just claim the medal ahead. Field pace of the grip, but cannot be overlapping. It will be placed on the grid. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you can place them over here and you will probably be able to see them. So yeah, that's just most of it. We might be seeing some more news on these updates pretty soon, tomorrow. So I'll probably make a Twitter post about it. So you better to go check it out. Now, uh, go follow me on Twitter, by the way. We just talk about a bunch of gacha game stuff. We talk about a lot for Arc Nights, but I'm going to be posting a lot because I'm also good farming. So yeah, I'm hopping over to like in game and probably show off what these features are and where, uh, how those will help. Most of these will be, mostly be quality, but I really like the um, of course trading post one. So I'll just be hopping over into game and show how it will probably work. Alright, we're here in game right now. We're going to hop in over to base real quickly because I don't want to make this video too long. As I said, just mostly quality updates. Um, I don't want to be dragging you guys along over here. So, like, let's see over here. You see orders acquired. I may click on it. I can't click on it. We won't actually acquire my orders. Now, what I'm thinking about the update will be like is that I will click orders acquired and will automatically claim all, all the orders. So, I just have now I have to like go over here, do this. And imagine if it was actually like seven or eight orders, it would be way more annoying. I have 14 of you, imagine with a 13. It would be insanely annoying, so yeah. Um, it's actually not a good idea to have steward over here. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, order question comp. Yeah, this is better. Because I want to have a speed up. Yeah, element's fine. So yeah, um, as you see, I'm grinding LMD for the moment, so that's how most of it will work. Um, I will probably have the next one will probably be an account update and how it works the account. And now let's see CC end it and how I'm thinking the future of my account and more development stuff. I plan to get a certain operator to E2. An operator that I really like and some of my favorites. I talked about on the QA video, so you might see her over here, but I'm getting to uh to E2. Anyways, I'll be doing that in the video, which will be the account update. I do have her level 80 maxed out i just need to find some more stuff you could say i did grind everything almost everything for cc zero i wasn't able to hit risk 18 which was something i imagined because it's not that um i hadn't grinded enough just not always like i could, if i hit risk 14 i could have been on risk 18 
just that I didn't had like access to as many good risks as I had kind of like to go to risk for 12 from risk 12 to risk 14 I had to have incredible RNG because um see I always I did the risk with like the charging of the DP on cost on minus 50 percent I think that was it yeah and I had to be perfectly lucky because if the fire thing didn't kill one of the enemies like on the, on the very beginning um, I lost because I would put gravel if it killed one enemy if it didn't kill like if it didn't kill uh, one enemy I threat lost if it, uh, if it didn't kill this, like the uh, one of the enemies which would come would be coming on the way of life uh, with on the way that like gravel was, I was trapped loose, so it was always always no support. Then if I got lucky, I would switch to gummy. I was trying to uh, take out gravel and put gummy down. And then until the last phase, which I could survive until last time, it was going great, great. And then the last phase, I always died because my gummy couldn't tank. Like gummy was level 60, you see right here. The only thing I could do is get gummy to E2. To make it more tanky, which I certainly could if I grinded these mega to manganese or worth more and lots of these in the shop. I certainly could do that. And I was just trying to like do this without getting most of my units to E2. Because I'm pretty sure I had no units to E2 except for And Quiet was doing fine. Like she was grinding pretty well. She was just lacking on healing. And then Neural was good, but only good when she was like she gets E2 because she gi gives like the healing buff on E2. It upgrades like increase the healing by all allies. Yeah, the 10% uh, is usually by Neuro herself, and on E2 is by all allies, which improves it a lot more, obviously. And yeah, sorry, of course. Um, I didn't have luck on this thing that only got me. I was having a lot of issues with, and that's about it. If I had a better healing defender, like if I had sorry on myself, it would be great. Or if I had my neural max down, you could say my bar friend Saria, you could say that, yeah. But I didn't really want to max out neural, and this guy getting to E1 level 50, I regret it, really. I really did. So yeah, um, I'll close off here. And there's Ryan's history, as you can see. I'll have a video coming next, which I'll be talking about more about the account. Probably have improved a lot more by then. But yeah, closing off here, as you see, uh, love y'all. Thank you for watching my content a lot. I know I kind of complained at the beginning of how um, I got that complaint, but it's just like everything you see on the video, most of it, 90% of it, is done by me on a mobile phone. And the music on the background, you could say it's done by me. It's not like I saw something I grabbed from YouTube and just put it and slap it on the background. I did the music on the background. And all of this is being done on my mobile phone. This is the maximum thing I can do. Like, if I could have the ability to play CN, the CN version, and get gameplay for CN and just showcase it for global players, it'd be fantastic. I don't have a PC, I don't have a laptop. So I'm just doing everything, on, all of these on my phone. I'm having issues doing these on my phone, and it's pretty damn hard. It's very frustrating when my recorder, my phone, just says, "Oh, you need premium to actually do this," or "Oh, um, my I just messed up and I didn't re recognize all the audio because you were below 20% battery or something stupid like that." So yeah, I just get me stressed up and get a complaint from the person who's just saying, "Oh, you're just reading this info out. You're not actually doing." showcase on the units which the video wasn't saying oh this is a showcase for the units it's just me saying if you should summon them I'm just looking over the units anyways um, I don't want to get into it maybe partly my fault for naming the videos like that and making videos like those then I should be making those without doing the showcase for the units but like if I had the ability to go to CN and play the game and get those units to showcase them when they drop global it'd be fantastic but knowing my luck being shafted since Schwarz Banner back on April, like April, May, I haven't pulled a single good six star. Might have needed. Oh, she comes great, yeah. 
Well, like, I don't really need her right now because I have Cora D2. And Cora does her job for you. Like, maybe on chapter 6, I'll be emotional. Anyways, um, that's it. I'll close off. I made this video way too long. I shouldn't have. It, um, expect probably tomorrow in two days. I can't up a video. Tomorrow might be on the Mangas video. Who knows? Anyways, I'll close off here. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. And like, subscribe. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the month. Not by the end. November. Uh, early of October. Uh, before November comes. So, yeah. That's just in a bit. I really hope you get 200 subscribers. I'm not seeing it. I'm thinking we're probably not gonna hit it. But, anyways, it would be pretty cool if we did. Uh, I'll close off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.